Hello everybody, so Driven by Moss 13.5 is out and it brings additions to the Ableton push controllers and you get now multi-editing of several notes. So this was something I wanted to do for quite some time but it involved some serious head scratching but now I finally did it. So what can you do now? Let's go to the drum sequencer and let's begin with the hi-hat and let's say we don't want to have overdub so we can use a sequencer and let's insert some hi-hat with full power but you say you don't want to have a steady groove you want to have some accent and some velocity so you can now select several notes at once you still can uh, long press one note to select one note but you can also now alternatively use the select button to select a note or unselect it as well so now we can select multiple notes so let's say we select every second note and want to change the velocity of the second note to get some groove going some accentuation and this works quite nicely or for example let's add a snare there is a snare and let's say we want to have here two snares and you want to apply ratcheting to both of them so you can also now select the first and the second you also see how many nodes you have selected here in the display and uh, yeah let's go here for the repeat and let's say we want to have some some repeat on them so this works also uh, let's maybe add some based on to that this also works in the other sequences so for example let's go here to the bass track and you can go to the note sequencer let's create a clip here as well and you can do the same use the select key to select both of those nodes Say you want to have some uh, recurrence, or let's add that. Let's use those two here. Select those two, and let's say we only want to have them. Yeah, each second step. Yeah, it's already case recurrence pattern is like this, so it's only on the first go. Back to common. So you can use that feature here too. And also let's check out the poly sequencer. In the poly sequencer so far, you could not use, so let's go here to a track where we can play chords. And in the poly sequencer so far, you could not use note editing, but now this also works as well because we have now um, multi-note editing. And yeah, the poly sequencer allows you to play chords like this, for example. Let's go with that one. And then you, oh, let's just create a clip for that. Chord, and you can have the chords here. And you can now say uh, as well, you want to use a select button or the long press works as well. So you see, if you select one pad, you already select three notes. So we want to have that chord as well, and we also have six. You can also remove that from the selection, so you still have now only the second chord. This also works in the other sequences as well. So, but let's go for both of them, and you can, for example, let's adjust the length. So we can change also the length of several ones, and this works also for all the note editing parameters on all the notes in the chord. So very powerful stuff now, you can add it to your hearts alike and I hope you dig it and make some funky music.